Gord, it is great to see you, man, because I think the last time I saw you was uh, CCMAs. Yeah. And uh, another big winner, man. How does it feel knowing, because I was there from day one when all this was coming together, that you have become a huge institution here in Canada as a Canadian country artist. The guys you grew up uh, looking up to, now you have the new artists who are growing up and looking up to you. Oh, great to see you too. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's just been awesome to see it all come together and, and grow and, uh, you know, a great team of people working hard to make it happen. So we just, uh, hey, we just want to keep going, you know, keep, keep doing what we're doing. What is it, do you think, though, for you, what worked? I mean, the teams are great and everything else, but the hard work and the music, what do you think it is about the music that you've, you've recorded over the years that has worked? I know for me, it's authentic and it's real. What is it for yeah, you? I think that's it, Rudy. I mean, for me, it's just I've never tried to reinvent the wheel. I just kind of, you know, keep things simple and try to, you know, make music that people can relate to. And, and um, you know, our live shows, you know, really great great band and and um you know it's i think it's just that i think it's just sticking to what what i do best you know and not trying to not trying to you know follow trends or do something different no you never do man but look before we talk about because you have a new album that's coming out january 19th yeah it actually pre-sales this friday but yeah it drops on the 19th of january okay retail. before we start talking about that album though i want to talk about something that you do all the time this is what's great about you when you tour you give back and as we talk about the holiday season it is about giving back you're all about charities man. yeah you know our foundation is uh really gone to gone to places we never imagined you know this uh, was our 10th year anniversary this year and we just uh, we just broke 3.2 million dollars for for children you know for youth really you know lots of uh, children's hospitals and big brothers and big sisters and make-a-wish foundations and we're really involved in music counts you know run through the junos and Karis and keeping uh, music programs alive in schools right across canada so uh you know it's been the most rewarding uh it's not even a job for me it's just the mo most rewarding thing i've ever been a part of and uh, we're now in the process of trying to continue to grow our foundation with with diff with more events. We just right now we just have a golf tournament that that generates all its revenue. I heard about this. I read up on this. Yeah. When did you start doing this, man? Well, that was started year one, and that's really how we've raised all our our money. And and it's been a you know massive growth, obviously, and we've had tons of support. But we get so many uh, so many applications for people needing funding that we need to. We're trying to develop some other uh, other uh, events that can raise a little more money. So we're we're uh, we're trying to grow that as well. Why did you start this? Wasn't it? Um, I can't remember. Was it your daughter or? Well, a lot of stuff we support of has had impact on me at some point. I, I grew up playing lots of sports, and uh, I was involved in big brothers and big sisters. And and yeah, my, our youngest daughter was uh, a, uh, at birth. Uh, you know, spent time at the Children's Hospital, and and at, back then my wife stayed at the Ronald McDonald houses. So a lot of stuff that's. Uh, you know, somewhere along the way impacted our life, and and uh, obviously things happen for a reason, and and um, we we just decided that we want to give back to those organizations as well as others. So, well, you know what, you're always giving back. That's why you're giving back on great music, man. Neon Smoke. I'm gonna hand that over to you, and I'm gonna get raise it up. There, there you go. There you there go. I, what, what, what number is this one? Album number? This is number eight, actually. So, yeah, I'm feeling young still, but <laughs> this is number eight. And, okay. Uh, but, and how many years? This is number eight and how many years? So this had been, boy, 90, probably 94 is when I started started doing this. So. Did but, you think you'd reach that number eight? Uh, no. I mean, you just you just wanted to. It's like anything. I mean, you dream big and you work hard, and I think you, you achieve. You know, at, now achieve to this level, I don't think you ever think you're going to get there, but... Now we're just trying to, you know, go above and beyond where we're at. So we're just uh, excited about this big tour that's coming up and the new record and going right across the country. What does this album, how does this album represent you now musically? What's going on with this well, album? Well, this album I spent a, a more time on making and I, and I had to have my hands on this project from A to Z. So I was, I was involved in every, every part of making this record. You really, I think it's, uh, oh God, what is it, the last five or six years, you've really like honed down. It's not like, okay, I got a producer here, some who's can maybe help with songwriting. Like you are doing everything. Now. Yeah, and I work with some great guys and co-produce co stuff. Phil O'Donnell was a part of this record and I worked with Byron Hill and I've been able to learn from a lot of those guys too. So it's, um, it's something that, uh, you know, I just feel that it's, a, it's kind of a cliche, but sometimes, you know, if you do things on your own, you kind of get the results you want, but at the same time, you you know, you feed off people. And um, this record, I think I'm 
Well, I think I made the best record of my life here, so we'll see what happens. Okay, um, the Lee track is the name of the album also. What's the song about? Yeah, it's just kind of a, it's kind of got a sexy type feel to it. Uh, oh! <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we had a huge hit with the song called When Your Lips Are So Close. It's kind of along that veins and had the title forever, title Neon Smoke and uh, you know, never really, I took it into a few different co-writers and it just didn't, didn't ring a bell to them and then we walked in, uh, I walked in one day with a, a couple guys down in Nashville, Phil, Phil Barton and, and a guy by the name of Bruce Wallace and uh, they just, they just clicked and away we went. And wrote, wrote the song in less than an hour. So. so wait a minute, man. Even though we're talking right now, holiday season, January 19th, hmm, a month away from Valentine's Day. Okay, I dig it. I get where you're going with this. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I get where you're going with this. With the rest of the album, what's the feel of it? It's pretty, it takes you on a journey. You know, it's got a bit of everything, you know, that a Gord Manford record would have. And, uh, you know, but there's, there's some great country tracks on here. There's some steel guitar and fiddle again. And, and uh, you know, it's a great song called "That's What Grandpas Do." That'll that'll probably tear you up, and and then some some great you know up tempo stuff that uh, you know, you're hearing today on the radio. So I love it, man. Uh, you mentioned about a tour. What's this tour going to be about, and where are we going? Just across Canada, or are we doing North America? Right across Canada, and then we got a week off, and then we're in Australia for a month. So, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty intense tour. Um, Twenty nine shows in Canada over, I think, thirty eight days. So it, it's a, it's a it's an intense one, but. Um, we're looking forward to it and we're we're starting out east here in, in Ontario and you know playing the smaller theaters and smaller rooms which for me is uh, way more I mean I enjoy the big festivals and I really enjoy these smaller rooms and and having the intimacy of you know having the people right in the palm of your hand so we're looking forward to it but the festivals are still going to be involved I know you're going to be doing a lot of those too man like I keep saying did you ever think this would be your life now man when we first met and everything started coming together I think you dream it Rudy but you never you imagine it, you dream it, you just never know. The, the odds of getting to it are, are pretty uh, are pretty slim. I mean, I got I got surprised today at eTalk with the two more gold records and a platinum record. So I, that was just something that just was out of my mind. So What's the trophy room look like now, man? You got all these awards coming in. I mean, what does it look like? It's amazing. You know, it's uh, it's amazing. But at the same time, the the biggest trophy is, and this may sound cliche, but the biggest trophy is people buying tickets. To watch you play your show, not to open the show, but come watch you play, and that, that's the best one of all. And then, the, and the the giving back and the foundation that I've been able to put together with a great team, and the the, the things that happened through that foundation that changed my life has been the best best trophy of, of all. What advice can you give folks who are hoping to follow their dreams that uh, whatever their trophy case is going to look like, whether it be in a room or in their hearts, what advice can you give them to hopefully follow their dreams and achieve it? I think you just. Um, you know, stay true to who you are and what you do, and and uh, you know, I'm a really kind of gut feeling type guy. So stick to stick to what you think works, and uh, it's very important to surround yourself with not only great people, but people that love you, the people that'll that'll take their shirt off their back for you. And it's, it takes a long time to find that, but once once you do, you you have a you have a team behind you, and that's important. Website, Twitter, social media, where do we go? Yeah, gordbamford.com and uh, at Gord Bamford on Twitter and the Gord Bamford on on uh, what is that instagram and <laughs> all that stuff I so know, man. it just keeps coming up more stuff look my friend congratulations <laughs> cannot wait to see what's happening to you at uh, 2018 i know i'm going to see you at the ccmas and all the other festivals like i said man congrats yeah great to see you